Why on earth would anybody ever pick socialism when given a choice between the two? Joining me now to hash it out, founder and CEO of American Majority, it's Ned Ryan and former DNC chair candidate and Fox News political analyst, Jamu Green. Welcome to you both. Hey, Kennedy. Hi, Kennedy. Um, so, Jamu, I will start with you. What is so wrong with capitalism? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with capitalism. And I think, Kennedy, maybe you were asking the wrong question. Instead of capitalism versus socialism, couldn't it be a both and equation? And the reality is there are really great parts of America that are infused with socialism. Our military, our roads, our infrastructure, the entire New Deal that helped build the middle class in this country. Mm. The weekend. Come on now. Who doesn't love a weekend? Who brought that into the, the American You're system? You're right. Our Lazy people. Lazy Socialists. people. And, and in Europe, they have, no. they have a month-long weekend. It's called August. And, and that's why their productivity <laughs> lags behind the United States. So, Ned, it's interesting because people like Jamu make the point that we can have capitalism with some nice parts, but that's not necessarily socialism, is it? No, it's not. And I, I think the reason we're having this a little bit of a confusion and even this dalliance with socialism, honestly, Kennedy, I think our education, is, education system has completely uh, lied to our young people about what socialism is really about. Because you and I both know as freedom lovers, socialism actually ends up being about submission and it destroys individualism. And I think we got to go back. I, I'm serious, Kenny. We got to go back into our education system, start teaching real civics, real history, and as you mentioned, real economics. This is how real economics actually works. There are certain things that work and certain things that don't. And I have to tell you, too, I, I wrote a piece called In Search of Americanism about six years ago, and I think you're absolutely right. We need to start talking about who we are as a people. How we got to this point, it wasn't chance, Kennedy. It was very intentional choice. And you know mm. what? I think we should start going back and teaching about our founders and our founding documents because you know what our founders got right? They were optimistic real realists who understood about human nature. We're imperfect human beings in an imperfect world, capable of great good, incapable of sustained good. But even more importantly, imperfect human beings should never be trusted with consolidated power. And where I think the socialists and progressives get it wrong they think that human nature is basically good and that power should be consolidated, and we all know how that ends. It destroys I, countries, see, I, it destroys economies, and think, it destroys people. Uh, but I think people who want total control uh, think less of human beings and of human nature. I think they have a very negative outlook. Um, so, I, Jamu... That, I, I think you're right. I think the self... I, last point, and then I'll, I'll, I'll shut up here for a second, but the self-loathing You've had a lot of stop, points, though, Ned. Okay, go, go ahead and... No, and, but and you can, and No, but I want, I want Jamu in here stop. because we're, we're going to run out of time, so Jamu, go. Here's the thing. I, I couldn't agree more that we need better history. We need better civics in our country. And that is the point I was getting at. When you look at when socialism has been brought into our country... It's resulted in things that are good, and and the education that I, is going I don't, wrong I don't is think how the what media follows from the New Deal is, is good. I, I about actually, social. I disagree with that. Do you hate the that. weekend? I think freedom. Do you hate the roads you drive on? Do you I hate the security. United States military. I think military. a lot of the roads should These be privatized. I think we should we should cut that military are spending. With socialist ideas. And if you look at the entitlement programs, they're what's going to bankrupt this country. Exactly. Thanks, FDR. Well, no, social when you look at social security, it's what lifted elderly people out of poverty. That's a great thing. Social Security is not something that I think we should be getting rid of. Medicare is not something we should be getting rid of. No. We should be expanding no. it. No, we These shouldn't. are things no. that can help to no. build no. our Medicare prosperity. Medicare doesn't make any sense. And by the and way, if you deny no, it, by the way, you're okay. trying to rewrite history Jamil, in a I, way I make, that is I, I wanna, absolutely okay, fraudulent. I okay, that's fine. Social Security does not lift the elderly out of poverty. Social Absolutely Security can, keeps no. older people impoverished because they don't get to use that capital to actually make money and create wealth for their retirement. It's actually a very cruel system. Ned Ryan, go ahead. Exactly. No, Kennedy, you're exactly right. And I think what we need to do, though, is fulfill obligations to those that have come into this system, say we're going to fulfill our obligations to you. But for a younger generation like myself and those behind me, I want to be able to take my money and actually make it grow and be in charge of it and actually mm. do my own investing because 
I'm looking at Social Security going, dear God, I'm not really sure what's going to be around 20, 25 years from now when I'm starting to retire. Well, Ned, and with Medicare, there's a Medicare reason you're out of 2026. There's a reason you are out of lockstep with your generation. There's a reason young people are embracing these ideas. And guess what? Young people have been at the forefront of every the social change movement they've been coddled in this world. And everything's been world. done for them, and, and they feel and entitled to no, have no weekends. They are looking at human decency more than right, now what talking they, over they each will other. reap as an individual. Speaking They're looking of, at human speaking decency. Reaping, They're looking at sharing and prosperity. The They're looking at don't what built this the country. Reaper. I need more cowbell! Um, Jamu and Ned, thank you both so much.